Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to explore how to create a bunching ball animation using Scratch. This project will help us understand how to use motion blocks, loops, and timing to create smooth animation effects. Let's get started. Let's start by opening a brand new Scratch project. From the sprite library, I'll select the ball sprite. Now, by default, the ball looks a little big, so I'll resize it and make it smaller. This will give us space on the stage to duplicate it later if we want multiple balls. Next, let's move to the Costumes tab. Here you'll notice that the ball sprite actually comes with many different colored versions inside it. If we want multicolored balls, we can leave them as they are. But in this example, let's say I want just one color. So, I'll delete the extra costumes and keep only one ball color. E. Now let's begin coding. From the events category, drag the block when green flag clicked. This block will trigger our program to start when we press the green flag. Next, I'll go to the motion blocks and set the ball's starting position by giving X and Y values. This makes sure our ball always begins at the same spot. To make the ball move continuously, I'll add a forever loop from the control category. Why forever? Because I don't want the motion to stop after one step. It should keep repeating as long as the project runs. Inside the forever loop, I'll use the block change Y by minus 10. This makes the ball move up and down along the vertical line, since the Y axis controls vertical movement. Next, I want to make sure the ball doesn't disappear when it touches the stage boundaries. So, I'll add an if condition. From the sensing category, Choose the block touching edge. This condition checks if the ball has reached the edge of the stage. If yes, we'll reverse its motion so the ball bounces back to the other side. This gives us a realistic up and down bouncing effect. To make it more fun, let's add sound. From the sound category, I'll choose a pop sound and place it inside the loop. Now. Every time the ball touches the edge, it will play a sound. I'll also add a next costume, block. Since we have multiple colored costumes for this ball, each bounce will change its color. To make the color change fast, I'll include a wait 0.01 seconds block. This creates a quick flashing color effect. Now let's try another block, glide. What's the difference between go to and glide? If I use go to, the ball instantly jumps to a position without showing movement. But if I use glide, the ball travels smoothly across the screen over a set duration. This makes the animation look more natural. Finally, let's test our project. At first, my ball moved only a little, so I adjusted the X and Y values again. Now, when I run the program, the ball moves up and down on the y-axis, bounces off the edges, changes colors quickly, and even plays sounds. That's our complete bunching ball animation in Scratch. Now let's add another sprite. Again, I'll choose the same ball from the library. But this time, I only want one ball. So I'll go to the Costumes tab and delete the extra colors, keeping just a single costume. Next. Let's start coding this second ball. From the events blocks, drag when green flag clicked. Then, set the starting position with the go to X and Y block so the ball begins at a fixed point every time. Inside a forever loop, we'll give the motion. First, I'll use change color effect so that even with one costume, 
the ball gets a visual effect while moving. Now let's add a glide block and set different X and Y values. This makes the ball move smoothly across the stage. To make it interactive, I'll add a sound block so every time the ball glides, a sound plays. I'll repeat this. Another glide with new X and Y values, then again a sound. One more glide with different positions and another sound. And again, glide, move and sound. By repeating this, the ball doesn't just move once, it travels around the stage, bouncing on the walls and creating effects. Finally, let's run the program. Now, both balls move across the screen, bouncing on the walls with sound and color effects. In this project, you've learned how to use the motion blocks to move sprites, the forever loop to repeat actions, and the difference between go to and glide. Remember, go to makes the sprite jump instantly, while glide makes the sprite move smoothly step by step. That's how we make two balls bouncing together with motion, color and sound in Scratch.